Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spiels on Wheels. This is this is different. This is I am technically on wheels, you know. I'm actually gonna start using this series as a devlog for Team Backrow Games and Under the Feet of Mini and Levity and now Faudia, and that's what this episode is about. This is about Faudia, and uh, it's not always gonna be this way. But today, it's it's from the viewpoint of an accountability meeting that I have with ATL Game Jam, uh, a ATL Game Dev in the Discord. Uh, so so come join the ATL Game Dev Discord. It's it's really fun. We do accountability meetings, and now here's the video. Okay, see you in, see you in a little bit. Uh, repent, repent of our mess. Hello. And sorry, remind me again. How do you prefer to be referred to? It's uh, the reason they're both there is because it, it doesn't really matter. Repent or okay. RMF is perfect. So I, I it probably makes it more confusing to have two of them, though, huh? Well, I think yeah, that's also on me because in the schedule I wrote RMF and uh, I don't know. It's fine. I get it. If you're fine with <laughs> RMF, I'll call it RMF. That's fine. <laughs> no, it's all right. I, I just I just think it's funny because I am pretty sure I have it as my username somewhere else as RMF, so I should probably change that. Anyway, thank you. So, um, Under the Feet of Many is a game by Team Back Row Games, uh, but actually, no. <laughs> so, this is, this is a game I've been wanting to work on a long time, and I have been working on it, and, and no, there's just, the, I, the people that work on the project with me are not always available and then i get bored of it and it's it's a really hard situation so instead this is what you saw the last time back in august august is the last time i presented and i made levity and levity was a game jam game um it was a little game about a little bitty piece of tofu and he would move around spaceships and he'd have like teleporters and little gravity shifters and it was only 20 levels long so what, what were my future plans and screenshots that I had that I wanted, the goals that I had, even though the game is technically finished? I wanted to create more levels. I wanted to make a saving and loading feature and maybe put it on Steam. We'll see how we feel. And so how, how did that go being a Game Jam project by yours truly? It didn't. Uh, so instead we're making Faudia. So what, what the heck is going on? Uh, like I said, Under the Feet of Many has been in development for so long that it's too big of scope and it, it's so hard to be realistically achievable with a team as new as we were. So instead, I did a game jam and I felt really fulfilled. It only took a month to complete, but it was only 20 levels long. And so even though I enjoyed the gameplay and a lot of the people that played it enjoyed the gameplay, I was hoping for it to be a little bit longer and a little bit more fleshed out. So I tried to remake it and quadruple the level count from 20 to 80. And then I got 50 levels in. And then I had creativity issues. And 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 then I started adding new mechanics because I was like, well, shoot, I already used this idea 10 levels ago. What do I do? So what's Faudia? Faudia is a 2D platformer uh it's a Faudian style game uh where if you fall down you lose a lot of your progress just like you know getting over it with Bennett Faudy Jump King that style of game um and some of the mechanics are like you, you have horizontal momentum that gets stored when you jump um so you're always committed to a jump arc uh there are climbing ropes so the the verticality is a really big part of the game um, you can bounce on mushrooms, you can slide on ice, and then I have a bunch of little, like, a bunch of hidden mechanics that you have to kind of, like, work your way in the game to find. Um, the important thing to remember about Faudia, though, is I have it all worked out. I have it all written down. Literally every mechanic that I have listed on screen and in the game was in my notes, and this is the key to everything. And everything's coded already. Um... And that's really important because if you focus on one project, this is the new goal. I have a new goal, even though I have three projects that I am working on. You have to write out the scope in its entirety before you start the work. You share the work and the GIFs and the videos that you are creating with your community 
regardless of them giving you feedback because that makes you feel more accountable. And the important part is to keep yourself interested and like you are progressing because the progress has all different shapes and sizes and forms. You, you shouldn't forget about your other projects unless they are literally like draining you or if you have a contract, then you, you should keep doing those projects, but you need to ultimately do what makes you happy. So I like the entire thing here is like, I needed to, I needed to recognize myself better. I have ADHD and I wasn't really acknowledging how it affects my workflow. Um, and so I'm, I've only been working on Faudia for two and a half, maybe three weeks. And all of the base physics are already done. It's already coded. Even though it's all programmer art, it's already done. I don't have to worry about a damn thing. I just have to make art and I have to make like cutscenes and stuff and that's it. Um, so the scope was written down beforehand and as a person with ADHD that helps a ton because I just do the work and I don't have to worry about, well, what about putting something else here? Um, so I'm not, oh, that says I am ceasing work. <laughs> that's supposed to say I am not ceasing work on Under the Feet of Many or Levity but giving yourself space as a person with ADHD from those projects will give me more room to be creative and maybe I will come back to those projects. Um, and uh, that that's it. So if, if you have questions or comments, I would love to hear them. And also sidebar, please play Levity. It's available on repentmf.itch.io slash levity. And it's only 20 levels long. It's pretty hard, but I, you know, I appreciate it if you played it, if you haven't already played it. If, is, is, does anyone have any questions? You already have, uh, like, basically developer placeholder art for everything, uh, as in the screenshots. It'd be kind of cool if you kept that in. Like, imagine if you could press a hotkey and just, like, all of the good stuff disappears in its lines again. That is, I'd, I'd find that cool. That's an interesting idea. I think I might, might keep it in. Yeah, so you can see all the hitboxes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it for sure. The other option, uh, not to take up too much time, but like, I wonder if you could make, like, since you already have this, and adding art is something that can be kind of like very clearly placed into like slots, if you will. I wonder if you could make this like very modding friendly and or DLC made by your own team friendly um, in the future instead of it being like this is the definitive art for this thing uh, it's like well here's from this content pack here's this thing you know real quick I'm just gonna say I repent did talk a lot about like managing scope and stuff <laughs> yeah sure, sure. I mean <laughs> Those are great ideas, but those are always like the after effect ideas. Like if you, if, if I focus too much on then and, and again, like they're, it's not a bad idea. I actually am quite interested in it because um, I love speedrunners and I love extra content and people expressing themselves. But like if I were to focus on that now, then acknowledging my ADHD and working on the current workflow that I am doing would get slowed down. Um, but it, it is really interesting. I, so I would, it's not, it's not off the table. Like that would be a cool idea. Gotcha. Yeah. I just wanted to throw it out. Like it might be a way to monetize or something. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. I also wanted to say that, uh, it, it, hopefully when I finish putting together my presentation for the ATL game Dev group, I can't remember if you were here when I was going through my updates, but, um, my presentation is a lot about, uh, uh, failed projects early in my game dev career, and I feel like your slide talking about your history with uh, Under the Feet Many and um, and Levity and coming onto onto this one uh, <laughs> sounded extremely familiar. Like, uh, yeah, just want to say, been there. I feel that I empathize deeply, and um, I'm glad to hear that uh, you've got some got some plans together now. Thank you, thank you. It's really just a brief. I just included a slide about a presentation i'll be giving in the future about my history basically awesome uh yeah so that's that's all i have um i'm gonna chill it one more time i'm gonna put it in the <laughs> i'm gonna put it in an accountability group play play levity uh, that would be really cool um just to play the original because who knows if <laughs> the other version the godot version will ever get made um so thank you for listening and 
I enjoyed listening to everyone else's presentations too. This is always great, and it's my first time back in a while. Thank you for coming back and presenting. The main thing that I think is important to recognize is not only the negative patterns that you're regularly following into, but also like the plans that you can make that will get you into better habits. Like I'm not quitting under the feet of many or levity just to work on these other projects. These other projects like Fadia and some other projects I'm looking into are just gonna give me space. And I think that's necessary to help me work better on those initial projects. And having your scope and your mechanics written out first is good for any person or project, but I found it's especially helped me with ADHD as it pertains to game dev. Just having everything written out first makes everything so much more manageable. And then there we go, man. That's that was, that's a successful devlog in the books. Yeah, that, so sub, subscribe. Good. Thank you very much, everyone. Subscribe.